Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Ethan Feinschreiber, aka the Green Ranger. So Ethan and I are hanging out and we are in the Power Rangers mood. So we thought what we would do is react to Ethan's favorite Power Rangers episode. Episode 6! That's right! I just found out this is Ethan's favorite. I love this one because I get to be the Green Ranger, which was it's amazing. so serious and I had so much fun shooting this one too. Yes, so let's get started. Join us. Together, we'll defeat Zordon and save How can you say no to that face? <laughs> so little. I always can't get past that. So everyone's so little. I think it's a funny how the cinematography between mm -hmm. the two episodes almost changes. Correct. The cinematography immediately becomes better with episode six. Jason! Jason! Where are you? The acting was really, was really yeah, good in this, it, in this episode, too. I really like the Pink Ranger, how she acts. I also love that we film in this awesome place that it looks like we're in Mars or something. I love it. I'm sorry, Ethan. Yeah, so I found out later on, because I, because when we shot there, I had no idea where the heck we were. I just knew we were around St. George, Utah. And this was like right around the time I just started getting into finding like snakes and lizards. And so as soon as there'd be a lizard running around, I'd be like, I'd want to chase after it and be like, Ethan, get to the shoot. I remember. <laughs> That was pretty cool. I really thought really they did a good job. The with Zordon. Are you concerned Zordon's that they will alter the timeline? Trini, Kim, you might want to see this. Your face! Ah, all over the sky! Who is that? Rita! Very I think it's so funny. That's I think it's so funny as soon as you see this random person in the sky with, with the, you know, with all the makeup and the green. Who is that? <laughs> this was in the basement of the Myler's house and it was with a green screen. Old behind house me. or new house? New house. Okay. And they had me stand in a little trampoline that they have, a tiny one. So a lot of these scenes, I'm standing in a book and a little trampoline <laughs> to not see my regular height. Good build. That's Rita? Now what have you baby Rangers well, done with it's... my green ranger? <laughs> What'd you do with my brother, you big meanie? She's so possessive of <laughs> Ethan, of the green ranger. When I saw this video with my whole family and I go, silence! My brother's like, oh, I remember. <laughs> like if I got mad at him when I was a kid, he says he felt like the house shook. <laughs> when I get mad at him, because he was a teaser. Were you taller than Ashton? It looks At the time, yeah. What about now? He's taller than me, I think. Wow. Either that or we're the, the same. same. We only shot that, that, that location the one day. So this running, this running scene, we, I had someone that was guiding me on, on where we were gonna run. There was a part that the red sand was kind of, I had to go over it. It, it seems like part of a wall of sand. And it was harder than what it looks because my feet would sunk in. So, yeah, sink the sand in. is pretty loose. Yeah, and I had to practice that a few times. On his own free will. Her point is valid. Tommy attempted to recruit Jason, not capture him. The scene where the kids see the giant head, that day it was freezing cold. And everyone had, of course, their Power Ranger suits, which is a very thin material. So when we would cut and there was a break, we'd all go under the little roof and just get under blankets and just shake. That was a cool shot from Tony. Even though I couldn't read. Could that be we us run kind of funny there. Both of us look funny. I mean, the red one might be you, but the green one, definitely not definitely me. Not. <laughs> Ninja Daddy! I think that's Zordon. That's Zordon? Then the other one must be... Grassy prayer because I couldn't <laughs> breathe it. <laughs> the biggest difference was the fact that her hair was not up in a ponytail. That yes. freaked me out. I'm like, that's not Rita. That's, that's, not some, Rita. that's some girl in a Power Ranger costume. So that's good that you mentioned that because I asked the Red Ranger, I asked Shane Myler, is it okay if I have my hair down? Because the kids have only seen me with my hair up and we're supposed to show her before she's evil so she should look different. And his answer was like, I don't care. 
Perfect. I'm like, then I'll do it. <laughs> Unfortunate for you! Get out of my way! I like that fight scene. When the kids were doing all the adults were fighting, you guys were there right there, right? I think it's funny that like the two parties didn't notice didn't notice each other fighting. Like mm -hmm. you guys didn't notice we were fighting until we were like right there. But I, I did love the idea where they were having us fight while the kids were fighting. I thought that was brilliant. Mm. Well done, Alpha. Contact the Rangers. Rangers, is everything okay? No, yes, it's, it's Zordon! <laughs> it's about time! Do you know what I'm even going through? My apologies, Trini. If you look closely at Trini's face, she has like redness on her face. That's how, because the cold air was. Is that what it was face. from? Yeah. Oh, okay. It was so cold. Sweet girl. It gives me no satisfaction to say that I was right about evil Zordon. So you know how Rita will talk like, stupid children, evil Zordon. Really fast story, I was just at an event and an older guy asked me to take a picture with him because his grandson is a, is a Rita fan and a Power Rangers fan. And he asked me if he could call the kid on, on uh, FaceTime and the kid couldn't recognize me, just looking normal. Mm -hmm. And then, who's that? And I said, stupid children. <gasps> <laughs> I love the attitude of the Pink Ranger. We need to talk. She's here. I love that line. She's that here. Well. Should I, talk? Um, I have a behind the scenes, so I'll make sure to include the link. But I do have a behind the scenes that I did of this episode. So it'd be interesting after this reaction for you to see the behind the scenes. Rita, what's the matter with you? This isn't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like hear the head going thunk? I thought that was just so like. <laughs> yeah, because I did fall on the rock. There wasn't. No, you didn't. There was a pad. No, there wasn't. I remember it was in two takes. One the of the takes. The first take, I did fall on a mattress. Right. The second, it was a smaller fall. Well, so yeah. that I could fall into the ground. But I still wanted to make it real and I still wanted to fall pretty hard. Freed me from your control. I am no longer one of your mindless puppets. Rita, you were never a puppet. We're a team. You, me, and the other rangers. We'll figure this out together. Ranger team, please respond. <laughs> it's over. I love how, your puppet how dysfunctional she and is and how she's crying and laughing and what all over saying? the place. What have you done? I feel like this is the most put together and most most put together I've, I've seen Rita. Like she seems more like she makes sense when she talks. Yeah, <laughs> she seemed more like a person. Correct, correct. But she has her little Rita moments. Creed, I creed. When I said that, everyone was like, "Creed." <laughs> no. How could you? You were my final obstacle. So if you notice when I say you were my final obstacle, look at my fingers, they're long. If you look at the episode, I was wearing children's gloves. So that looks small. But you so have wet hands, really. So I would like try to stretch it, but still it makes my fingers look small. Patties! Mm -hmm. Patties, attack! Man, Rita's so lazy. <laughs> <laughs> She never gets her hands dirty. Well, she did fight with uh, the Red Ranger at first for a little bit, but now she's tired, so. That backflip was not something that originally Shane Myler was going to do, but at the moment he was warmed up, he was into it, and he just did it. Nice. And it was like, I didn't his, actually know his wife was really scared. Rita! That sword is cursed! Power will consume you! No! It will consume you! <laughs> Sometimes Rita is so childish. No! Not me! It will consume you! I don't know, she's childish sometimes! 
it is cool when you're on set, you saw how everything looked, and then you see the effects added to it. Yeah, it's nice to see the finished product. Mm -hmm. I was not disappointed when I saw the final product. Yeah, I, it was fun to watch it. I rendered when I was like, side on! How would that would look, but I do like how they made it like I'm in a capsule and it goes up in the sky. Yeah. How did you arrive in this time? That's question of the day. <laughs> Oh, I've got another one. How do we get back home? I do love the attitude well, that Ethan started to I love my sarcasm. <laughs> as you see, he gets more sarcastic as he gets older in the series. And by the time we're doing this episode, he had the knack for that little attitude. Rita, back off. Stay away from our friends. I was cold wearing a jacket. I felt bad for the kids. Really? Mm -hmm. That jacket is warm. Exactly. No, That's what I'm saying. About. That's how cold it was. Look, it wasn't Zordon's fault. You have to understand that. You can't destroy our planet just to save yours. <laughs> I, like, I was just laughing. <laughs> you tried to be serious. So here's the thing. Do you see my, do you see my face? I, I opened my mouth and I went, what? Right before that shot finished, watch. I don't know if this became a blooper or what, but you see my mouth. <laughs> And it was That's completely silent, so they took the audio out of it. That's funny. Um, what but did I, you I, say? I said, Why are you laughing? Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a good observation. I never noticed I that. Yeah, I don't know about it. They took the that. audio. Do you think? Look at my face. You're trying to be sad. You're laughing. Laugh it. Oh. Oh. Back off. Stay away from our friends. <laughs> Your planet's already gone. You don't need Earth's zero crystal anymore. You fool! <laughs> when I say you fools the way I say it, sometimes the kids don't expect me to yell. The lines they've been seeing on paper, they don't expect me to yell it so much. So yeah, yeah, his yeah. reaction was a little surprised when I said you, you fools like that. What do we do now? That's so cool when Rita appears and disappears. <laughs> When Rita is angry of why did you betray me to Tommy, look at her eyes, they're even watery. She's very upset. Why did you betray me? Why did you betray me, bro? <laughs> episode and there was that scene he's like man she went nuts <laughs> i remember he said that <laughs> comment below what were your thoughts the first time you saw goldar i just figured i'm like what happened to doom why are we replacing doom with goldar i love doom goldar. <laughs> i remember when we first brought in goldar this is a little too freaky looking. <laughs> Should this go up on YouTube? Look. If you look at his red eyes, they're like two marbles. They, the actor inside of the Goldar costume cannot see a thing. So we were making noises with my staff to guide the actor to walk forward. It wasn't Ian Lang yet. It was one of the kids that is the Myler's friends that is usually a putty. They oh. dressed him up as Goldar just for this last scene. Did they sell the red eyeballs? I feel like they replaced the eyeballs with something. I hope they did. We'll have, have to, to notice closer. that once Ian Lang used it, if the eyes are the same. Because I thought I remember I put on the mask one time and I could see through it. Maybe they fixed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment below, what's your favorite part of episode six? And remember, watch the behind the scenes that we did of this episode. And thank you so much, Ethan, for being in this. Yeah, absolutely. I can't wait to react to episode seven. Yes. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.